Country singer Kenny Chesney has a song called She Thinks My Tractor's Sexy. Well, I don't know if this tractor is sexy, but she's sure been around the block. We have uh, driven 8,000 kilometers on this uh, little massy tractor you see behind you, living in this uh, little thing that we'll generously refer to as a house. John Vardy, a university professor from Ontario, and his partner Molly Daly pull up to Victoria's Mile Zero, marking the end of their Tractor Across Canada tour. Been on the road for approximately eight months of actual driving time, 16 elapsed months uh, for this um, entire journey. We've covered eight provinces, uh, we've had 38 flat tires, uh, two dead tractor batteries, six worn out ball hitches. They left Prince Edward Island July 2011. To our very great shock, only two middle fingers, both in Alberta, and uh, to our very great amusement, one carload of teenage boys with their arses pressed up against the uh, car glass. That was in Nova Scotia. Thanks, lads. <laughs> their goal? To make a documentary about Canadian farmers. Financing it has been tough. Um, we've had a couple of uh, days of the proverbial like $8 bank account. I mean, it's been it's been slow going, but it's it's so been worth it. Local farmers welcomed John and Molly with local produce. From our organic greenhouses in Central Saanich. And uh, a couple of hats, got her done. <laughs> Tractor across Canada. What we really want to see in Vancouver Island is what they've seen across the country. People buy local, support their local farmer, find out who he is, shake his hand, let him know that you're there. The farms are disappearing. Uh, incomes to, for farmers across the country are for the most part now subsidized for, the, for those family farms and they're disappearing so uh, it's a matter of do we want to feed ourselves or not. And every right. good farmhouse needs a veranda and so uh, we just have coffee out here and chat and, and uh, they sort of solve the world's problems out here. And we built this ourselves. I got quite friendly with the air nailer which I hadn't used prior to this but uh, we haven't gotten wet in here once and we've had snow, hail, the tractor was donated by Massey Ferguson. Massey because that's what my family have all used and it's a good old uh, Canadian brand. John and Molly say they'll have to sell it now to help pay for rent and food while they complete their documentary. Don't watch uh, documentaries that uh, get to your heart simply by scaring you. We have a lot of small and medium sized farmers out there who very much want to produce food in the cleanest, uh, safest possible way. Before John and Molly called it a day, the local farmers had one more thank you gift. A night at the Empress Hotel, high tea and carriage ride included. Woo! <laughs> one of the grateful farmers commented that his generation went from horses to tractors. Nice. We're out to the Empress Hotel, I do believe. Yes. Well, Molly and John are going from tractor back to horses. In Victoria, for Go Island, I'm Dan Kahn.